Hello, and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Todd Mullenhauer, a technical software consultant out of California. And today I'm here to show you how to use the Template Manager in Workbench for DB2. Templates are essential building blocks to saving and sharing your work in Workbench. In this session, I will describe how to manage your templates. When you create workspaces, you can share the structure of the workspace with other users by creating a template. Template Manager lets you organize templates hierarchically in user-defined folders, making it easier to find the templates that you need. To access the Template Manager, click Tools, then Manage Templates. A list of folders and templates will be displayed. From this display, you can add folders and subfolders, edit the description of a template, delete a template or folder, rename a template or folder, and move a template or folder from one location to another. The root folder is named Templates. This folder can contain templates or other folders. To create a new template, navigate to where you want the template to be stored and click the plus sign. If you select the Templates folder before clicking the plus sign, the new folder will be added to the Templates folder. If you select Quick Courses folder, the new folder will be added under Quick Courses. Let's create a new folder under Templates. Enter the folder name and click OK. You can see the new folder under Templates. Let's add another one. Select the very important folder and click the plus sign again. Enter the folder name and click OK. The new folder has been added. Let's change the name. Click the blue Edit Folder button. Edit the name and click OK. Note the new name. Now let's see how to delete a folder. I have selected the folder Workbench Templates, but the minus sign is grayed out because the folder contains template 001. You cannot delete a folder if it contains any templates. Let's delete folder Workbench Connections because it does not contain any templates. Click the minus button. Click yes on the confirmation panel. You will see that the folder was deleted. Now let's move the very important folder from templates to quick courses. Select the folder to move and click the move icon. The move folder pane is displayed. You can click on the arrow to the left of the folder name to display any subfolders. Select the quick courses folder and click OK. You can see the folder has been moved. You can filter the template list to display only your templates. Currently, we show only the templates for IGR CXS. In the Filter by Owner dropdown, you may select another owner. If you can't find your template or folder using the Filter option, you can search for it by entering text in the search field. As you enter characters in the search field, the results are dynamically displayed. Now that we have found the templates we are searching for, we can click on it and see where the template is located in the tree. Click on the Find in Tree icon. Now you can see exactly where your template resides. When you're finished with your changes, click Close. Sometimes other users will need access to the same information. For example, consider the workspace shown here. To share this workspace, you can save this workspace as a template and other users can access it. To save this workspace as a template, click the Create Template icon. Select a folder where you want the template to reside. Then enter the template name and a description. 
a best practice is to add an optional description of the objects or applications in the template. Notice the same icons from the Manage Templates are here. These function in the same manner as they do in Manage Templates. Click Create Template. Now you and other users can access the template you just created and create a workspace from it. To create a workspace from a template, click the Create Workspace from Template icon. Select the template you want to use. The workspace name and description fields are automatically populated, but you can edit them. Enter the name and description you want for your workspace and click Create Workspace. You can see that the new workspace was created with the information from the template. You can now save this workspace by clicking on the Save Workspace icon. Thanks for listening to the Workbench for DB2 Template Manager Overview.